It's a windows down kind of day here in Indianapolis. 51 degrees Fahrenheit. That's probably like 10 C for you weird homies that don't believe in freedom. We are headed out to film a probably just one video because we've only really got like an hour and 15, maybe an hour and a half to shoot today, but then we're gonna shoot more tomorrow. So this is all for the you daily vloggers, the guys that wanna come and check that out. We're gonna try out a few different props, like crazy weird combinations at super high RPMs. It's gonna be really, really fun. We're going to a spot that I've only been to once before because it's super warm and it's been snowy. It's also super muddy. So that's gonna be exciting. Let's just continue to enjoy this beautiful day. Be out doing a little bit of flying. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bust in. Here we are. It is very, very wet. So we're gonna have some, some sad gear. Calm down before you stress up the groove The energy a little different when the blessings accrue Hey, who you talking to? Just know I ain't no regular fool Could be anything in the world, but I can never be you Because I head tall like I'm on my tiptoes Baby, you think a little too small I got big goals, baby, Hey, where the money at? Look, I just need the info, pronto I go and get it and split it with my kinfolk daily And I'm the type of that might change my number on you Yeah, that's how you react when people took the slumber on you Pretty brown skin, baby, I can see the summer on you You see all the bread and I know it make you wonder Don't you, don't you, don't you, Ooh, I ain't surprised at all Seen them rise and fall Went up the mountain, it wasn't hard to climb at all At the top I found some relief I finally got some peace Carry on with please, don't mess up the mood So, swapping out props. The new tool is coming in handy already. <laughs> I am so in love with this thing. Although, I, have, I don't know where I found this 8mm wrench yet, so you'll have to find one of those for yourself, but it just makes little pit stops that much easier. Uh, it's like little five inch racing drones. It's like a little home built drone. And we're actually out here testing a couple different kinds of propellers to see like, which is quieter versus louder. I thought that was cool. I just had to see what it was. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thanks for stopping by. Happy Tuesday. Woody, thanks for watching the vlogs. Appreciate you. So we finished up a little bit earlier than we wanted to with the prop testing video. We're getting, we're going over to poker night with our friends, Patrick and Jowls. Every single time we go, Patrick moves it forward like 10 more minutes. So like we used to go to poker at like seven o'clock. Now we're leaving at 5 p.m. It's, that's an exaggeration, but it's it's not that far off. And, and today was no exception. He was like 10 minutes earlier than he usually is. So we had to kind of wrap up early and I had a couple other ideas that I wanted to play with. But this video has to go out tomorrow, so let's go have a good night. I'm really excited. It's my first time getting to go since uh, little James has taken over my life. So thank you, Rachel, if you watch this for giving me time to go. She watched the last one. We'll have to pull her comment in the comment read. Thanks for looking after him so I can go hang out with my friends. You're the best. Love you. And I love you guys too. behind him distracting you, it's right. him and a little bit behind him. Dude, look at this model shoot. Hey, you're recording, right? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Always recording. Dude, yeah, look at that beard. <laughs> Someone sponsor this man. <laughs> it's my, my, my little dedicated quad holder until the charge port closes and then it gets dropped. What? Sweet. Oh! Oh, it's a good line until I crash. Part of, uh, you know, being part of FPV is constantly innovating, and if you're not innovating with a place to sit, you're uh, not doing it hard enough. So here we are with my portable front sitting spot. It's way more comfortable than it looks. That's not true, actually. I wouldn't lie to you guys like that. So we put all four of these different props on here just to take the thumbnail. We didn't actually fly it like this, but like how... We got one five inch bi blade, one three inch hepta, no, oct octa blade, a hepta blade, and a tri blade. Let's fly it, let's see what happens. <laughs> I think the funnest part about this is the sound it's gonna make because it has like that whooshy EDF sound, but also the five inch bi blade sound. Like, it's gonna be hilarious. Well, they all 
Moving in the right direction, yep. <laughs> Honestly, can't even tell. I can tell the fire pretty fast. There it is. Alright, here we go. Rolling. I'm on you. Oh, it's definitely bobbling a little bit now. Back also. Right. <laughs> it sounds so funny. Countdown punch out. Here we go. Clear. <laughs> I would never build something that goes over 100 F FAA. You wanna try analog for the first time with this yeah, thing? Okay, it. let me let me grab another battery. Yo, what is up, Nerds Vlog? I think this is the first time I'm on here. Uh, about to fly analog for the first time on this drone, so it should be interesting. Oh, I normally fly on just uh, DJI. I'm nervous because I'm on Nerds Vlog. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does this switch towards you? Okay. This arm is that way. The rest is normal. You grew up in the the generation of guys that got to start with DJI digital yeah, FPV. Gen Z. Gen, Gen DJI. <laughs> <laughs> I was a yeah. zoomer. Show us what you got. Dude, this feels so weird. I feel like the screen is really small. I feel like I can't see anything. <laughs> oh my god. Like, this is the way it used to be. Oh yeah, this is actually, this is a really good analog setup and really good analog goggles. Oh god. Does it feel more responsive though? Uh, Maybe just like a little bit. Think about like your big snap movements and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know if that's the drone just because it's smaller, but yeah. it's definitely quick. Give it some full throttle. <laughs> wow. Uh, Not bad, eh? I feel like I'm I'm privileged to fly DJI. <laughs> it's like weird. I definitely thought I would be able to see better, but I don't know. That's just from watching YouTube videos, I guess, of other people fly rather than be able to being able to experience like firsthand. But it's cool. Well, I just realized we forgot to run the DVR for him, so my bad. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm glad that we could uh, give you a first experience with yeah, the weirdest yeah. possible combination the, of propellers. With, with the nerd goggles, yep. too. Let's go. Those are the ones from DRL. Hey. They just ran for the door. I got this package much earlier today. I have not yet had a chance to open it. And that's really disappointing because it is very exciting what's in here. So I, on last week's vlog, mentioned that I had a little bit of a project coming up with the Money Shot Mini and the Bucks That. And this is the other part of that project. Though I'm not gonna get into the details right now. That's gonna kind of be its own video. But I did wanna open this on camera because it is very exciting. Even Kylo's excited. <sighs> this right here is a red Komodo. <laughs> it's so exciting, Kylo. And included, got ourselves a Laowa 12 mil monstrosity. Oh, this is exciting. This is much bigger than the standard one. And a Canon 40 mil. Dude, that thing is tiny. Look at the size of that. No, global dynamics. Oh, that's great. 40 millimeter. That's probably gonna be too narrow to fly, but it's uh, definitely something to play with. Just another tool in the toolbox. What's this here? Just an adapter. Yeah, just an adapter for Canon lenses. 
so we'll probably need that to mount the other thing but oh my goodness pop that off show the sensor get this lens on here i am very excited about this all right unfortunately i don't have any more time tonight to play with this thing i want to tinker and do nothing but tinker but I've got to get a video ready. <sighs> it looks so good. I just want to play. Please just let me play. Ugh. But anyway, it's going to go with the Money Shot Mini. We're going to get it in the air. It's going to be exciting. But I've got to set down the toys for a bit. Get some work done because the 6S 4S Squirt video has to go out tomorrow. And that's all for you guys. So look forward to more from the Red Komodo and the Money Shot Mini. And maybe the Sick soon. Okay, vlog, we're headed out to do some testing. Uh, by the time this vlog comes out, the DJI FPV drone will have dropped, and that's what we're going out here to fly. Just continuing to gather footage of this thing in the air, and we're gonna, about to get a pretty nice sunset, so we're trying to get it out before. I wanted to bring this Money Shot Mini out with me, but I was kind of rushing through getting it set up. It wasn't quite as much put together as I was hoping. I needed to make sure that the controllers got the right settings and that the camera's mounted on there well and that all the props are on there and bah. Plus all the batteries weren't charged. Like there's tons of batteries, but they're big and they just take forever to charge. So I decided to hold off on that. I felt like I was getting to the point where I was rushing and you know, I really don't want to have that thing have any kind of bad situation. I obviously wouldn't have flown it with this, the red Komodo. But, you know, just something to be thinking about. I'll probably fly it with the weight, like the analog weight there, like the fake. Then fly it with my own personal Panasonic BGH-1, which is kind of a middle ground for weight. And then with the red Komodo, which is right there. But I just wanted to make sure that we weren't doing anything dumb. So I just was like, you know what? I feel like I'm rushing. It's a bad idea to try to rush and do this stuff. So let's just take a break. So said we're just going to go get a few batteries with the DJI FPV system. I think that's going to be a much better use of the day than uh, potentially getting my stuff hurt. So let's go over and get some flying in. Dude, I just love days when it's nice enough to have the garage door open. I'm just sitting here working, getting some stuff done, but the garage door is open and the puffers are loving it. Oh, I can't wait for maybe a little bit warmer and a little bit less humid, but stoked. So we're going out for a run. It's like 60 degrees, which is probably 20, maybe 18 centigrade. Uh, so it's gorgeous, relatively speaking, considering that like a week ago we filmed a whole video about going to fly in a snowstorm. So I'm going to do my run outside today. I've got to do an hour of cardiac output uh, once a week. I try to go for more, but it was, it's been busy. So this is my one run for the week. Um, so I have a time of an hour is the goal of just workout in general. And then uh, I have a route that I think will take me about an hour, but I don't know what the distance is. So we're going to track it here on the, uh, the watch and we'll know how far we made it. So let's uh, get to it. Tail end of mile one. Chest is feeling good. But my thighs are dying. I feel like they're about to cramp up. Not good. Usually when this happens, I can just push through. So I'm hoping that like around mile two, the thighs will give up and they'll just be like, oh, okay, this is what we're in for. But I don't know if that's what's gonna happen. So we'll see. I think I've broke through the worst of it. My thighs are still tired, but they're at least maintaining. And they've been able to pick up the pace a couple of times. I'm almost to my turnaround point. Whew. Oh, it's not looking good. I, uh, we're 4.13 miles at our furthest point away. Probably three miles back because I don't have to do, I did a loop at the beginning that I can skip. So it's probably closer to three back, but it's already been <coughs> 44 minutes because I'm going so slow. But, the really only important thing is that I keep my heart rate up and it's been in the 170s pretty much the whole time I'm running even when I'm moving slow so that's good but my goodness my thighs are killing me 
please stop giving up. Ugh. I've been getting a little bit of a shin splint. This is not helping. I just feel like I, I, I've never in my life like done squats before or lifting for legs. And that's something that I'm doing now that my trainer is having me do. And it's killing me on these runs. Like normally this run wouldn't, like the only thing that would be a problem is my chest. But like my thighs and my calves are dead. That's not something I'm used to dealing with. Anyway, gotta get home. So <laughs> pushing through. All right, let's go. Hey, buddy. I don't know why that stood out to me so much. Seven point five miles. Oh, that does not feel good. Finished the run about a part of the way back. I ended up walking for a bit because I got a phone call and then I was feeling pretty good after that, so I ran. And actually somewhere in there, I was definitely hitting like nine minute miles where I'm, for the rest of the run, is getting like 10, 15s, which is really slow, I know. Uh, but I was out here to get the distance done, not necessarily to go fast. And we did that, kept our heart rate up the whole time. So, hey, that's what we need. Out here, working out, trying to get, trying to look good for you guys. So if you haven't uh, liked and subscribed yet, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, peace out. Ah, what are you doing? Hi. Easy go, buddy. Good boy. Thank you.